Ty, mm. you, you miss Southern hospitality? Yeah. Like you miss, like you miss Atlanta a lot whenever it comes to hospitality and mm -hmm. shit. I can honestly say, <laughs> yeah, uh, nah, that's the only thing I miss about the South, the Southern hospitality that's where I'm originally from. You, you I'm know from, that? I'm from Atlanta. Where you from? North Carolina. I thought you was from fucking a barn, nigga. Huh? I thought you was from a barn. A mm. barn? I mean. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy David back in the cut. That's literally gonna be my saying. Actually, you know what? That's 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 literally what, what's gonna be my saying in the cut gang, in the cut family, whatever, whatever you wanna call it, y'all gonna be in the cut. Yeah. I don't know why I've always liked that. I literally always like that. Literally no cap. I've always, always, always liked that um saying guys. In the cut. But I'm doing a Q&A video today. I'm actually at Ty's right now. We're just chilling. Uh, we're all knocking out videos. Whole squad grinding and shit. So, I'm not even gonna be like, like expanding this out, right guys? Not at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. Q&A, simple and sweet. Question and answer video if you don't know what Q&A stands for. It's all good though, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for y'all. So. All right, so the first question that it is, is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I need to go back to the questions because I got a lot of interruptions going on. It's cool though. Uh, so the first question was, you still gonna try and pursue Corey Rayvon? I mean, don't get it twisted. Corey is a like gorgeous, melanin queen, very strong, independent woman that I find very, very attractive, and like not just because of her looks, the way she carries herself, how the pen, how like independent she is, and I mean, of course, looks are always cool and shit. <sighs> nah, you're good. Um, looks are always cool and shit, but I don't know. Corey's just like Corey's the type of girl that like I'm not saying I wouldn't put in the time and effort into her. Just like Corey, obviously, you already know Corey said she's all about Corey right now, so like. I don't mind being her friend, being there for her and shit, but I don't personally see myself pursuing Koi Rayvon in this point in time, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, I just moved to LA. Uh, I just literally, I gotta focus on myself, basically. That's basically the whole point of this, like, answer the question. Corey's cool people, she's still my friend, but no, I'm not gonna pursue her. Yes, I'm gonna play hard to get If she wants to mess with me, cool. I just feel like I don't even want to do that type of thing to myself right now. I want to focus on David. David needs to focus on David. Corey says she wants to focus on Corey. Cool, we're friends. That's it. All right, next question. How did you and DDG meet? This, um, honestly, if you don't know the answer to this question already, I really can't even say like, I can't even say like, you're not even a fan for me. You're honestly not even a fan. Like, you're not a true fan for Daryl. That's just on God. Um, how me and Daryl met was literally, this story has been told multiple times, like whenever Daryl first started YouTube, I was like one of the biggest people in his main channel, the Pontiac Made UG, before he went off, the, before we both went off to college. He, he had me in a lot of videos, right? So me and Daryl met in sixth grade, in middle school, actually going back to this school called Academy of Waterford, AOW. We, have to, we used to have to wear yellow shirts, brown pants, black or, black or brown, excuse me, black or brown casual dress shoes. And I'm like, this was the ugliest, ugliest, ugliest uniform ever, bro. Honestly, I don't even know how me and Daryl became cool. Like, I'm not even a cap. It was just like, we all had like, it was like a 30, it was like a 30 person class or whatever. And the dudes were cool with all the dudes and the girls were cool with all the girls. It was like, it was just like, we weren't really worried about relationships in uh, middle school or nothing. We were just kind of going with the flow and shit. Um, I don't know what's going on right now, coach. I'm gonna pause this. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, how me and DDG met was in sixth grade, back in middle school, AOW. We got T.O. on the cut, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're not, we're not funny yet, coach. You can't, you can't throw on the sides. What you filming, bro? Q&A. Uh, my bad. Uh, so, uh, uh, all right, whatever. I told y'all how me and Daryl met. It's cool. It's done. It's over with. Now, next question is, how old is Chino? Hmm, Chino, you, you cool with me saying how old you are? 
31. All right. Uh, Chino just walked away. Chino is actually, I think, is he is he 30? Chino? Yeah. Is, is he I mean, in Chinese years, Asian years, you actually go back like seven years. So he's really 17. But in real time, dog years, nigga like 29. Ouch. Let's go on famousbirthdays.com, look up Chino Alpha Wolf. You dig, bitch? Call. Ouch. Bro. Ouch. He was but, really uh, trying to do it to Diamond though. By the like, end. Like, talking about take your hands off. Sick, Who, me? I didn't know he was going to uh, come in here and just start talking. By the end of the year, where do you see yourself on YouTube? Shit, I'm finna be bigger than Logan Paul and Jake Paul combined. No cap. Gonna be sitting there like... I'm finna be sitting at like 30 milli on YouTube. You hear that, Charlie? By the end of this year, I'm finna have 30 milli on YouTube, coach. Manifest it, bro. Gotta, gotta talk my shit, you know what I'm saying? What does light black mean? Shit, uh, light black was like, I was like in my, like, whatever mindset. It was before I was really fully acting mature and shit. Uh, light black means, light means I'm white, black means I'm black. Like, obviously, like, I'm like, I'm mixed. I'm trying to say I'm mixed, but I'm not really mixed, guys. That's why I'm done saying the N word. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna keep my Instagram name as Light Black because it's, it's cool or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mess with it. Uh, that's about it. Like, it's just, uh, it's, it really just, I just thought it was personally dope. Like, a fan called me Light Black one day. I was like, yo, this shit hit. But I'm done claiming that. Like, I'm not gonna be that immature version of myself anymore. I'm gonna be the fully mature, family friendly David that you guys appreciate and wanna see more of, right? So light black, if you see me in public, don't call me light black. Call me David, yo. You're like, yo, David, what's up? Like, dab me up. I'm going to be cool as hell. Like, I'm not going to be like, swerve. You didn't call me by what I want you to call me. I want you to call me David. Call me DJ. Call, you'll be like, what's up in the cut? That shit hit. Don't get it twisted. Um, why did you stop blogging every day? Now, uh, in my previous vlog, previous is Q&A, right? I literally asked you guys, do you guys want me to post a vlog a day and post a video a day? And that's what I'm finna do. So I'm gonna start doing it. Nah, you good. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing I'm gonna start posting a vlog a day, because obviously I'm busy with shit. And I'm gonna start posting a video a day, like challenge, prank, yada, yada, yada. Whatever you guys really mess with, let me know down in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this next question is very explicit, so no, I'm not gonna answer it. Have you ever said the N-word? Uh, they actually typed the N-word out. No, I've never said, wow, I can't lie. Yes, I, not like, not with the E-R at the end, I've never said that. I've never said the N-word with the E-R at the end, right? But I have said the N-word with A at the end. And I'm done, I'm done with it. It's out of my vocabulary. If you hear me drop it, you have my perfect, like why my 100% permission to sock me. I'm rev I'm revoking my personal end card right now. I'm giving it back to you guys. Here, here's my here's my end card that I've been given that I've been given. Here, take it back. I don't want it no more, basically, alright? When are you moving to LA for good? I mean, if you're watching this video, I'm in LA for good right now, right? That's the whole reason I've been posting these videos. I'm literally staying in Los Angeles. Like there's no going back for me. I don't want to go back. Uh there's literally it's 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 done. It's over with Pontiac is in the past, it's staying in the past. So I'm never ever stepping foot inside of Pontiac. Damn, I got some muscles, all right. Never ever stepping in Pontiac, Michigan ever again. Raps. Birthday. Uh, here's my tattoo right here, right? B stands for five, one, two, three, and then that is 97. May 3rd, 1997, all right? That is my birthday. My birthday actually just passed recently. I just turned 22 years old, guys. Um, I've been in, uh, I, I came out to LA just for my birthday, and then obviously it ended up being like, yo, you staying, like, or what? And I ended up staying. Like, I'm, I'm literally staying here. I'm done. Uh, so it's cool. My birthday was cool as hell. Where are you from? Uh, I'm I'm originally from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, or Somerville, North Carolina. That's where like I grew up on a horse farm, moved to the city, bam, bam, boom, done. Uh, I'm really southern at heart, and I really, really, uh, I honestly miss southern hospitality a lot. I really do. 
Ty, mm -hmm. you miss Southern hospitality? Yeah. Like you miss, like you miss Atlanta a lot when it comes to hospitality and mm -hmm. shit. I can honestly say, yeah, uh, nah, that's the only thing I miss about the South, the Southern hospitality that's where I'm originally from. You, did you I'm know from, that? I'm from Atlanta. Where are you from? North Carolina. I thought you were from fucking a barn, nigga. Yeah. Huh? I thought you were from a barn. <laughs> a barn? I mean, I did, I was. I, that, wow. No, I used to, uh, I used to raise horses, though. I figured that. Wow, that's crazy. Southern draw go crazy. When are you taking Alexis McKenzie on a real date? She, you know what I'm saying, really, really soon. That's in the works, guys. That's in the works, actually. Uh, she don't know it yet. Now nah, she knows it. Uh, we're actually going to be linking up really, really soon. I've just been like, I've just been trying to figure out my place in California and go from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how do you like LA compared to Pontiac? Shit. Don't get it twisted. LA is like, I feel like myself whenever I'm in Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying? Like not even, not even Los Angeles, in California. I've been all over California already and it's just like, I'm happier. I feel like I'm David, you know what I'm saying? I can actually say like, yo, my name is David. Don't get it twisted. Like, it's not like I'm saying like, I'm special compared to the next David, but I feel like I'm special. I feel like I'm my own star of my movie. I'm my main character in my movie and nobody can tell me different. No matter what you say, I'm gonna be somebody, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody else said, do you like Corey David? Uh, I mean, it's cool, she's cool, but I'm chilling, chilling. How many white girls have you dated? Damn, this is gonna be a good question. Like, this is no offense, do not take this to the heart at all, guys. Like, literally, do not take this to the heart at all. I've never, ever, ever, like, put emphasis on ever dated a white girl. That's just no cap. Now, like, I went on dates with white girls. That's not dating. I've never, like, physically been with, like, dated a white girl for, like, weeks, months, like, even a week. Never. Never. It's not that, um, it's not that I don't mess with white girls. It's, like, I've just never, like, really put myself out there to white girls. I really only, only ever messed with, um, black girls and Latinas. And that's just honestly what I prefer. No cap. Now... I don't really know if I'd ever, I'm not saying I wouldn't mess the white girl, don't get it messed up, but right now, I need to focus on myself. So right now, in LA, there's probably some bad white girls out there that I'm just like not even worried about. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just going with the flow of my life and focusing on me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. When are you gonna get rid of the Captain America hairdo? I think this haircut hit. This haircut hit, like I can literally do this, you know what I'm saying? And it looks like it looks like messy but cute, right? That I can really just fix it ASAP. Be like, bam! Don't even have to put. I don't have to put hair product in it. I've had my hair for like I literally had my hair like this for so long. And I have to put hair product. I don't even have to water. I can only just wake up, fix it, and be like, boom, done. Like I said, I can do this and have like the messy haircut style, and it still be cute, right? And then I can really just fix it. I need to fix it real quick. Boom, bam. I don't know, Chino, Chino's really trying to give me like a fade on top. He's trying to give me to do some like different, like different, really, really different military hair, like military hairstyle haircut. But I'm not feeling the vibes, coach. Like, I don't think I want to do it. He was even saying like, yo, I'll cut your hair for you. But bro, if you cut my hair and I don't like it, I'm going to want to scrap. Because like, this is something, I don't know why I've all I've always 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 cared about my hair since I was in middle like literally since I've known Daryl, that's how my dad used to punish me. If I did something bad at the house or if I got a bad grade, I never got a bad grade, but it was just like it was up in the air if I did get a bad grade or if I did something wrong. He literally used to take me to this whack ass barber shop, put a bowl they who literally tell him to put a bowl on my head, give me the monk haircut. Like that's so messed up to a little kid. Like literally completely shave this off and leave the top on, literally with a bowl, looking like a monk. Hated it, hated that shit so much, like hated it, bro. Um, What's next? Do you think Tiana is pretty? Shit, if you haven't watched that Smash Your Pass already, that should explain it right there. Of course Tiana's pretty. What? what kind of questions, I'm not like trying to give Tiana a cloud or anything, like me and Tiana, me, cool, or whatever. Um, I don't know her personally, but from the pictures, yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty as hell. It's cool. That's cool people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she's messing, if she messed with Daryl, then obviously she's gotta have. She gotta be cool in some way. Um, 
and I think she's she's definitely a very attractive uh, female, like woman. She, I think she's, I, I don't know how old, I think she's like 21, something like that, 20, 21. I don't know, I didn't really ask Daryl any questions, that's, that's all his, that's his personal business. But of course Tiana's pretty. Uh, what's your zodiac? A Taurus, I'm hard-headed, stubborn, but I got a really big heart, so don't get it twisted. I got your back no matter what. How old are you? I just turned 22 as I said in the video, and bam. I think that's gonna wrap up this uh, Q&A for today. And that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is two videos in a day. I'm gonna have a triple upload today though, so let's go crazy. Whole lot of in the cut gang shit. Yeah, yeah, peace.